In this video, we're going to be talking about enthalpy of solution. So let's say I have a beaker of solvent, in this case water, and I have an ionic compound such as sodium chloride. If I place this ionic compound in the water, it will dissolve, and I'll be left with a solution of aqueous ions. This is the enthalpy of solution. Now let's have a closer look and see what happens at a molecular level. Here's our solid ionic compound. The moment we place it in water, the ions get pushed apart until we have gaseous ions. This is called lattice enthalpy of dissociation. And if you've done born harbor cycles, this is literally the opposite of lattice enthalpy of formation. But we're not finished yet. So now we have gaseous ions, but they're surrounded by water molecules. Now we know water is a polar molecule, meaning it has a positive side and a negative side. So the negative side of water will attract the positive ion and they will surround it completely. And the positive side of water will attract the negative ion. And just like so, it will also surround it. So now we have two ions that have been completely surrounded by water. Okay, so we had gaseous ions and now we have hydrated or aqueous ions. This is called enthalpy of hydration. So dissolving is done in two steps. In the first step, the ionic lattice is broken down into gaseous ions. And in the second step, those gaseous ions are then surrounded by water molecules, turning them into aqueous ions. Adding up the two enthalpies gives us the final enthalpy of solution. And of course, here we can apply Hess's law. Now, one more thing. Now, enthalpy of dissociation is always endothermic because it takes energy in to break the bonds and turn them from a solid into gaseous ions. And enthalpy of hydration is always exothermic because energy is given out when the ions and the water molecules form bonds. Now here's a common question that you might be asked. Which of these two ions will have a more exothermic enthalpy of hydration? Now we know they're both negative, so they're both going to attract the positive side of water. However, chloride will have a much more negative or exothermic enthalpy of hydration. And here's why. So both of them have the same negative charge. However, chloride ions are smaller and therefore they are more charge dense. Basically, what that means is that the negative charge is compact in a much smaller area. So therefore, chloride ions will have a stronger attraction with the delta H on the hydrogen of water. And therefore, it will be able to form a stronger bond and release more energy. So this was enthalpy of solution. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.